Time for a little bit of an update here. I've been messing around at the commercial shop on David's White Notch. Funny enough, the past two local guys have been both named David and both have white fox bodies. Go figure. But got a shipment of a whole bunch of parts in. Got some stuff up here on the roof. Got some boxes down here. One of the boxes that David supplied was a set of new taillights. If you guys remember, this car had a set of Cobra style rear lenses in it. He since donated those to the Shipbox Fox. So thank you, David, for that. And well, I went into the box to see what he bought. I thought he just got new LX lenses. So if we smooth these, gonna do the uh, map pocket delete. So I opened this box up and you guessed it guys, LED solid one piece. So needless to say, I, Put this back in the box like this real quick. So I sent him a message. I said, David, I'm not putting those on your car. He said, oh, okay, you got something better? I'm like, yeah, factory LX lenses. So I got those installed, cleaned up behind the backside, also lined his trunk lid. While I was at it, this side was sitting up a little high and the trunk lid was sitting a little close to one side. So everything is good to go now. And I've done these alignments in my past videos. You just got to kind of mess with these screws right here. And it doesn't take much in terms of being able to tilt the lid and get it to where you want. Yes, I made an order from LMR. Funny enough, it's like NPD and LMR go back and forth between prices. And a lot of the stuff was cheaper to buy this time around from LMR. So it is what it is. On the inside of the car here, been going through some of the wiring so they had the harness for the door it was all kind of wrapped in all this tape down here and hiding down at the bottom section of the door the harness wasn't run um so the harness wasn't run in the right place it was run underneath the bracket for where the uh, window run channel runs which these are actually needing to be replaced so that's another thing on the list of things to do here and you can see the power mirror wires were pinched a little bit. So I'm going to double check those. So I want to make sure that everything is here. The switch was bypassed because they had that custom weird switch set up in the bottom side of the cluster housing there. So we're going to be going back to normal armrest. Now that these door bars are no longer in existence, we'll be able to get the armrests on the door panels and everything will be able to work the way that it should. I've ordered a radio harness kit so we'll be able to fix a few of these cut wires and get that all cleaned up and get all these switches everything else got some doorman door lock actuators so we'll get those installed so one other thing that i did was i lined up this hood and we put the proper rubber gaskets down in the hinge area there so those are there and the firewall to hood seal along the back top part of the firewall there so that's all looking nice and complete so other than a nice engine bay detail in here maybe new hardware for the fenders um, it's actually gonna look really nice in here got all of that crazy door alignment stuff done guys i still can't believe how much time and effort that took to get that right uh, we do have new door handles that are going to be going on you can see i've sprayed primer down over a lot of the bare metal spots because they hadn't painted where they installed they painted a little bit but they didn't cover all the bare metal and there was a little bit of surface rust starting so i want to make sure that all of that was gone and we'll be able to i'll put a fre fresh coat of paint on top of that i'll start putting the you know sound deadening over those plates and and some key areas here you can see I got primer on the roll cage here and up there so uh, before the tent lady comes i'm actually going to respray the hoop just going to go in with a nice probably satin black keep it simple or i'll see if i have anything else so gunmetal or something like that something nice and dark it is a darker color it's not black right now as it is but um it's a good opportunity with the windows being tinted i'm going to try and you know drape as much plastic and all that stuff make sure that overspray isn't going everywhere but the tint's going to ultimately the old tint's going to protect the glass and allow us to uh Man, that door opens and closes so nice. That's pretty much where things are at. I need to head back to the house now and um, do a couple things that are Shipbox Fox related. 
but just wanted to give a quick little rundown of where I was at with this. I didn't really do filming for a lot of this stuff. It was one of those things I was just in the groove. I didn't feel like picking up the camera. There's lots of noise going on outside. Ricky trying to load his mega truck on the trailer, everything else. So uh, we'll get some more filming in on this and we'll go from there. All right, guys, the time to paint up David's roll cage inside the car. Gonna use Seymour's big rig, industrial strength, flat black, high solids, and well, it's durable enough for big rigs. So it'll be durable enough, hopefully, for the roll cage. You want something that's pretty strong on there. You know, flinging your seatbelt and the buckle clip will hit and ding off the cage. Sometimes, ultimately, you're gonna end up with some paint chips. So you just gotta be more careful than anything. Don't wanna go with the gloss. Just, I don't know, I'm, I'm more into the flats and the satins these days. So I'm gonna spray everything up with this. You get my plastic, kind of mask everything off to avoid as much overspray as possible. Get a light in there, get a respirator on and start painting. So the cage is all sprayed and looks great. I like the nice flat black look. Everything looks great in here. The tent lady came the other day and got all the tent work done, including the windshield. In Texas, we're allowed um, X, I forget what it is, 70% maybe on the windshield. So it looks great. The doors are not done yet because, well, I haven't had the power windows wired up so she could get the uh, windows up and down, but everything else is done and out of the way. Um, did really good in terms of managing the overspray and everything else. It was still a really, really shitty job. Cleaned everything out in here, got this uh, Celeste, I guess that's a, a take on silence. Exact same concept, butyl on the backside, reflective, whatever you want to call it on the front side here and I've gone around and put it all in strategic areas, especially on the roof and everything else to really make things not sound as tinny. I got all my stuff along the front there where the dash frame's gonna go, a couple trick spots here, just little areas all around. What that's gonna do is it's just going to, you know what I mean? Make stuff sound nice and solid. You don't actually have to do your whole car guys i've stressed this in lots of videos you can go and do everything if you want but honestly you don't need to as long as you've got it in certain sections you can keep your weight down if you guys are about weight but more importantly you don't have to worry about using as much material and spending that much money just to achieve the same result so that's my two cents you know you could i've seen guys just layer this stuff on and it's not light that's for sure but you know, at the end of the day, you want comfort in the cabin. I get it. You want to reduce as much noise as possible. So now I'm going to open up this box, ACC carpet. I'm not a huge fan of these, but in reality, there's no other options this day and age. So this one does have the insulation or the, the, the matting on the underside. So between the Celeste noise reduction and the matting underneath the rug, we should be in really good shape in terms of sound and keeping noise down in the cabin here. It's so gonna go ahead, open this box up, start laying the carpet out. Gonna have to cut some holes, I'm sure. The last one of these I did 
well, the fit was okay, but I still ended up cutting out holes in other places than where the templates were. So anyway, it's going to open it up, throw it inside the car, and hopefully, you know, that'll be one step closer once we got the carpet in there. And focus on the dash. I need to dye up the new dash pad, the new center vents. Um, what do we got here? You can see here I've got the new dash pad there, new vents there. see we're pretty we're pretty good here there's a little bit more massaging that needs to happen but remember i said i don't like to cut these out see how much forward that is compared to where it needs to be in reality I need, I need to cut it open right around here so that would suck right if you had like a way bigger hole than what you actually needed so that's why i say don't cut these until you're 100 percent sure in the end and um, the same goes for your actual seat belt uh, buckle that are hiding down and around here. Um, one trick is you can actually leave the bolts in there and then you can really feel where they are. You know, you can get, uh, you can kind of peek down here. We're gonna open a little bit more of this up and that'll make our lives easier as well. So we're pretty close here in terms of getting this carpet in and what I'm going to do just because it's so nice warm and sticky outside right now is I'm just going to let the carpet kind of sit where it's at and from there it'll probably take its shape a little bit more and I'll just kind of keep pushing and maneuvering and trying to get stuff to line up where it should be and these things don't fit 100% but you know they do do the trick and there's not too many other options out there so ultimately i think the customer is going to be happy with the outcome here the black carpet's going to look great and like i said once everything is finalized i'll cut these holes out those holes out for the belts we'll have to cut around the cage here in the back unfortunately into uh, our nice carpet but we'll do it in a nice way so that you can hardly even tell and that'll be that and start getting the dash start fixing our wiring and getting this car back together. So just in case I leave this as a stopping point for the car, some other cool parts just came in the other day and they're sitting over here. This will be in the next video for sure. Got the massive Holly screen right here. So that's actually gonna be going into the car and have a brand new LMR cluster bezel unit here it's pretty shiny out of the box first time i've seen one so that'll probably get dyed up and uh, toned down some of that plastic a little bit the reason for that is one that he had is all butchered up for the small holly screen that was in there and he also did opt to get the where is it the uh, mounting bezel here which is massive but who knows whether you know, I can cut this to fit and kind of work. What I want to do is actually mount it properly in the dash and then the cluster cover go over it the way that it would be like from factory. But that's going to make things look a million times better instead of because he's actually got like two screens in the car right now. So it's going to be a nice finishing touch on the car for sure. So that'll be cool. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. So I think this will wrap up episode number one. A lot's actually happened with this car. I don't even know if I'm on episode number one, number two. We'll see, I got a lot of footage to go through. We'll see what happens on David's little rocket here. Um, I don't know if that'll be the name for this car. Need to come up with the name. But anyways, guys, I'm ending it here, whether it's the first episode or the second episode or whatever episode. Thank you again, as always, for your support. And do remember, I do have the members membership to YouTube packages available so you guys can tune into that you get one-on-one -on -one lives with me i shouldn't say one-on-one -on -one. you get members only lives with me which are completely uncensored unfiltered and geared towards helping you guys out with your projects or you guys just need to listen to me unfiltered rant and everything else so be sure to check those out if you're interested if not your support is always appreciated we'll see you here next time on the infamous project